Hello again and uh, welcome back to the second part of the stiff focus ring in in the uh, non IA Nikkor Q Auto 2.8 135 millimeter. Now it's time to to loop the focus thread and uh, now oh, here you see all those parts which I have tried to clean as best as possible. <clears throat> so now it's time to put things in again. It will be great fun. Now we need a brush, a fine brush, uh, without any small particles. And we need some grease. This is uh, the tens gray, which is a very, very fine, a really fine uh, grease. Very soft and very buttery. And uh, you can buy it at, I bought it at, uh, I buy it at Japan Hobby Tool, which sent me to something Amazon where you buy it uh, you can get them in 10 grade and 30 grade which is a bit thicker I haven't tried yet I very happy with this uh, 10 grade grease so let's have a look in it's white something lithium grease I suppose so, uh, well, what should I begin with? Uh, yeah, I think, think I take the, the, yeah, the aperture ring. So it's, no, not yet. Um, I will just begin with the focus, focus thread. So I take the, no, I mean the aperture part here which will go into here and uh, it will I will just add just a little it's a very fine grease so it just needs very little something like that and uh, put it in and I know where it, sh it should go in here so maybe I need to loop the inner part here just a little because when I move it there will be grease where they should something like that now where did it go? it should start somewhere here try to find the thread which can be a little tricky so so we one two three four five six and seven so then just give you some movement so the thread will be full of 
Greece. So that's it. Now next <coughs> will be the uh, the next thread <coughs> where the focus ring will be attached to. And it's probably be some more. Just a little. I mean the thread looks really fine so I would guess it doesn't need that much. Take the rest away. And just put it in where it should go. Where is my mark somewhere? Here. It's there. And of course I have to find it where it comes off. And it was there. And here we have it. There. It goes into here. And it says something. like click and wow this is absolutely great oh. it's simply just like butter so it'll be fine this is my starting point and therefore I'll just add a little no, I will just put it on here. The inner tube. And uh, maybe it's not that much. It's actually a long thread, so... Uh, need to give it some and take the rest away something like that and I also know where this goes to because I have my mark where this tube come off. The mark is here where the arrow, that's my point. And I just need to find the thread here. I could just move it a little and then it will says click and just all the way in and just all, almost all the way out so the the thread will be be full of grease and there we have it see i have this the two holes here wait the one there and the other one there so it should be there but I cannot put it in yet, so I need to unscrew this just one turn and flip it over and then I can, can put in this part here and uh, of course I don't know what the name is. Thing like that and just push it all the way up to the I mean down to the <laughs> the actual point where it should be and remember two fingers here 
put it in then it will not fall apart so it will be something there and with a dentist tool, a spade I can just push it down to find the two holes where this see the two holes down here so I can actually just add the two screws that goes in there so you can see it's not a hard work to do this lens so it's a good lens for beginners <laughs> I mean sorry every lens has their their special things so maybe it looks like it's a beginner it's a good lens for beginner it can be a little challenge to fix it but And put in the screw. Not tighten yet. And then the other. And and the other one. Don't tighten them too much. And then we have a great focus. Wow. <laughs> This is really great. Then I can just add the bar here. Put that on. A screw. Where did it go? Here. To find the small holes. There. Not tighten yet. And the other. The other screw goes in. Something like there. Just need to find the Red goes in, yeah, there. So, now then we have to stop, and it will stop the other end. So, that part of it is actually done. It works really good. Now it's time to put the aperture ring on, which also needs some. It's a very fine thread, so it doesn't need that much. Because when I screw it in, the grease will just uh, go into the correct place. Oh, goes too much. And I could also add some for the aperture spring just a little so it will work with a soft click <coughs> now as my starting point was 2.8 and my point where the thread goes off it's also 2.8 so I only need to put it on here 
and it should fit in the thread click and ten and a half so the first half will be for my my point where the focus no, <laughs> the aperture ring goes on and up to 2.8 here where my actually starting point was when I took it off and 10 times so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 and so it is there just give it some movement it really feels soft but anyway. now that's actually great so uh, and then I can just add my little screw for the the aperture <coughs> connection from the aperture ring to the part in here that actually moved the blades so it will be something like there so I know where it should sit and I can just put in my long screw here so I know where it should sit so here we are so when I move the ring and it feels really really great before it was actually ah well not really good but now <laughs> something like new really great now the more tricky part comes now because I will put in the the uh, the silver ring here and it can only sit one way see it's the uh, the mark here and my mark here and of course the mark for the aperture number so I just put it over find the screw holes and then add the small screws nothing special about that so the most important thing when working with those old lenses and helicoids is to set marks where the thread comes off because there are no one to ask oh how the hell did that come off and where should it go on again well of course if, if you can get a repair manual it's fine but it doesn't tell all the details so now we are almost done but the uh, mount goes in can only sit one way there are five screws around here there's also five screws around here and it can only sit one way take care of the pin here I could use some thread lock but uh, well maybe I will make another film about the um, how it looks in the aperture system in the uh, lens housing 
how to go into the aperture plates it's not that complicated but anyway it could be, it could be interesting so when I have time So and the last screw goes in. Eee. <laughs> I mean, it's good to have a magnetic screwdriver and steel screws, but sometimes they can be a little annoying. But we get it anyway. So. Wow, really, really good. So, to get the actual lens assembly into this, I figure out that the um, this pin here in the uh, lens assembly needs to be there. The other one, which is connected to the the um, the aperture pin from the camera it has to stay over there therefore I set a small mark and of course I set a small mark here just what I think it would be fine and also the uh, aperture should stay on something 2.8 because when I put in the lens assembly here, I need to move the aperture pin here all the way over there. So the two parts, the two, those two pin are straight on the opposite side. Maybe it's better without a glove. So push this all the way to there. This is my guide pin there. That will go into the notch here. And uh, if I'm lucky, and uh, just a little detail, will, will, which will be, make it easier. So in the middle of this pin here, from the aperture ring I set a mark there and when I push this pin I will also set a mark here it can be a little tricky so maybe it doesn't it does not work at the, the first time, but uh, hopefully it will. But so we just do it again. So everything should be okay from now. So I just difficult for the camera to see from just above. Oh. So the little kind of fork there has to go above the pin here and hopefully it will work well it it works but I cannot move the aperture ring so there's something that is not connected so uh, mm. Just do it again because something is coming out of place there. Goes out there. Oh, I see. It has to stay on. Sorry, 
it has to stay on something like 22. Am I right? Yes. Has to stay on aperture 22. And then move this pin here. Maybe I'm not correct, but I'll give it a try anyway. Yeah. Hope it will work. So, will it work? Yes. It's there. So, when putting it in, you need to set the aperture ring on 22, push the lever here, all the way up there, and keep it there. And also need to put this all the way up there. The other pin up here for the aperture ring, all the way up there. And then it should be possible. And of course, set a mark here where you, where you, where the middle is, so you have an idea of where are the, the fork here. And it will be. I mean, it should be, easier, to do. There. And it works. So this is how it works. Mm -hmm. Well, the lock ring that hold the lens assembly in place goes in. It has to sit tight. So, and the uh, small set screw on the side of the of the lock ring here and then I only need to put in the um, oh will it be okay it was not the correct thread so now, the focus ring, and, and I am on, wow, that's really great, uh, I'm on the infinity. So all the six screws around the, aperture, the focus ring just need to be put on something like there so that's just the the rest of it and then we are done So it's a great lens to work with. One just need to, to know some details, how it's put, how it's made, and how you take things apart and put them in again. But as you see, it works, and with the new grease. Just like something new. And the glass actually looks fine in this lens, so. Uh, but I have already made a, another film about how to go in and clean the 
glasses here. So perfect. Then the lens hood. And we just need to put it there on near end. Screw it in. And find the the little hole which you maybe can see here. It's there. And then put in the screw here. And then I'm actually done. Oh, way too big. <laughs> so, it's pretty smart with the built-in lens hood. And then we are done. Wow, this is absolutely perfect. So, hope you enjoy the content and can use it for fixing your lens. And uh, of course, need the uh, great, great 10 uh, grease that is really, really good. So now I'm done and thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed and can use it. Bye bye.